viewers, you are watching Social Plus Africa. This is a program that brings you the best in current social events, entertainment, special features, personality profile, weekly news highlights, and lots more. I am Ella Igube, and I will be taking you on this exciting journey of information and entertainment. We have a lineup of interesting segments. Don't go nowhere. We will be right back. Welcome back. In case you are just joining us, you are watching Social Plus Africa. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get updates when we post new videos. The Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development coordinates all humanitarian affairs of the federal government. Established in August 2019, the ministry is headed by Sadia Umar Farouk, who is the pioneer minister and this ministry is designed to implement, monitor all social intervention programs of the federal government. This report brings to bear some of the challenges faced by the ministry and help you understand better the activities and mandates of the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. The Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development was established via executive pronouncement in August 2019. President Mohamed Ubuari made the pronouncement at the inauguration of the current ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. President Mohamed Buhari for having this confidence in me by nominating me as one of the ministers of this great nation. Hajia Shadia Kumar Farouk is the pioneer minister. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development was created on August 21st, 2019 by His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari. Yes, the ministry is new and uh, it's like we started from the scratch, you know, uh, without any existing structures, without manpower, we have to uh, pull the manpower from different uh, MDs. So it is challenging in that regard, but at the same time, it is also exciting, especially when you look at it uh, from the uh, angle of uh, service to humanity. Uh, well, uh, let me say that uh, this ministry was created uh, specifically to tackle the issues of uh, displacement, poverty, uh, as well as uh, disasters uh, as they occur. Uh, 20 years ago, if you had uh, mentioned uh, uh, IDPs to Nigerians, they will just stare at you, no thanks to the insurgency in the Northeast. There are also issues of uh, global uh, warming and desertification, which has faced uh, uh, the world uh, globally. And so this ministry was created with a clear mandate of uh, formulating and developing uh, policies, uh, humanitarian uh, policies, uh, providing uh, effective uh, coordination of humanitarian interventions, both nationally and internationally. Also, to ensure uh, strategic disaster uh, mitigation preparedness and response, as well as uh, to formulate uh, policies that will provide uh, equity focused uh, social uh, protection and inclusion uh, systems uh, in the country. Uh, so it is uh, a ministry that has direct contact uh, with the citizens uh, of this country and the agencies under the ministry, their responsibilities are also interwoven uh, they are more or less uh, one and the same. There are six main agencies in the ministry. 
Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, National Emergency Management Agency, National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, NCFRMI, National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, Northeast Development Commission, NEDC, and National Commission for Persons with Disabilities, NCPWD. These key agencies have the mandate to provide social intervention as the need arises, food, shelter, protection, and arranging access to judicial help where necessary. The National Investment Program, NSIP, is also domiciled in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management, and Social Development. Uh, we have the National Social Investment Program that's now domiciled in the Ministry, whose uh, mandate is really to uh, provide uh, support in areas of engaging the youth and as well as uh, to support the poor and vulnerable in the society. And this is what the ministry is created for, to provide supervision and coordination of all these responsibilities uh, for better efficiency as well as for maximum impact. Because the social investment programs have uh, about four components. Uh, one, we have the Empower program, which is targeted at uh, graduate youths uh, who are uh, enrolled uh, to teach public schools and are being paid uh, monthly stipends. We have the NTEC, uh, people who are uh, specialized in or who are um, trained in technology. We have the N-Agro under that same uh, uh, job creation unit, that is, that is the, the, the term. Under the job creation unit, we have the N-Power, as I mentioned, which is N-Teach. We have N-Tech, we have N-Agro, and then we have N-Build. These are all programs in supporting the youths uh, to be uh, meaningfully engaged and also to uh, earn uh, livelihoods. Then we have uh, the National Homegrown School Freedom Program, which is a program that is uh, aimed at uh, encouraging uh, uh, school enrollment. It's a program that uh, provides uh, one meal per day to public uh, primary school pupils, primary one to three. And then we also have um, the conditional cash transfer, which is a program for the poor and vulnerable households that are being given also uh, monthly uh, stipends, you know, to support uh, their homes. Main programs of NSIP are Empower, Conditional Cash Transfer, CCT, Homegrown School Feeding Program, HDSFP, Government Enterprise Empowerment Program, GEEP, encompasses job training for youths, education, and a monthly stipend of 30,000 Naira. I can categorically say that I'm happy with the way the Empower is going. Even though I did not know anybody before I applied for the program, I was selected. And I'm happy that today I'm benefiting from it. I started taking my stipend. I've invested in farm. I have a farm. I grow maize, okra, vegetable, and cassava. And I intend to enlarge my farm by growing beans. As soon as the, uh, even now that the rain has started. The conditional cash transfer, CCT, is help for poor and vulnerable households. 
The Homegrown School Feeding Program, HGSF, is a scheme that targets the feeding of school children to encourage enrollment and nourishment. It has a value chain of produce sourced from the community and economic empowerment for the cooks. The Government Enterprise and Empowerment Program, GEEP, is focused on monetary and entrepreneurial skills, accusation intervention for micro, small and medium-scale enterprises, MSMEs. All across the geopolitical zones of Nigeria, the NSIP has impacted several youths and households. The Empower Pillar of NSIP has many components. These participants are part of the N software training. Justina Adejo. I am a beneficiary of Empower from Kogi State. I want to say really that um, this is a huge platform, really, and this is a platform that is going to turn lives around for good. I also want to say that really when I was leaving Kogi to come over here in Abuja for this platform, I thought of it, I was like, how would I cope? But on getting here, everything has been made provision for, and everything went smoothly. We were given accommodation, we have a good learning condition, we were given money to also eat. Man, this is huge I must confess and I am really happy and I am a proud Nigeria this is indeed a life-changing platform I am grateful because before now I only had little knowledge about computer and the rest but on getting here I got to learn lots about computer basics computer programming improved my knowledge I cannot believe I am actually going to be a software engineer like for real this is breathtaking I want to say thank you mr. president Mo president Mohammed Harry, I want to say more strength to your grace. God will give you the grace to continue because indeed this is really huge. Thank you so much and I promise to also impact this learning. I am going to take it above this level. The National Homegrown School Feeding Program has a value chain of cooks and other food suppliers. For the pupils, learning is easier on a full stomach. Food is a nourishment that takes care of both mental and physical growth. I'm Hadja Aisha Sidimam. I'm vendor in Sali Udogo Memorial Primary School. I feed 72 students. Today is Friday, we are giving them moi moi for the children. And the ingredients we bear in moi moi is beans, egg, crayfish, and I'm using three proteins to prepare it. It really helps them and it really reduces hunger. Some students don't used to eat before going to school. But now, even if the parents have nothing to provide for them, they get it in the school. And through that, their learning process progresses. The homegrown school feeding program has encouraged school enrollment and improved the economic base of those attached to the value chain. It was incorporated in 2009 with only five staff. And uh, as at now, we can proudly say that uh, we have over 500 workers on our payroll and uh, we work 24 hours round the clock we have a lot of varieties like the butter milk and the milk cookies which are the favorite products that uh, have been used by the national homegrown school feeding program and uh, at the moment we are supplying to over three million people in a week and uh, it is one of the most uh, interesting thing to know that children can't wait to have our product every Friday. And our product usually comes in a customized level for the National Homegrown School Feeding Program written boldly on the surface and not for sale. The information communication technology ICT sector is a thriving industry. The NPower software trainings are essential to the growth and empowerment of some participants in the scheme.
the trainees are aware of the value chain workshops avail them and the opportunities therein. My name is Samuel Zibagwa Emmanuel and I'm a trainer in Power and Tech. First of all, I want to appreciate what the federal government have done to empower the Nigerian youth. Because around the world we see how internet software development is trending and they want to impart that knowledge on the Nigeria youth and I really appreciate them for that. Well, for this program, right from the onset, for the very first week of having engagement made with the students, though there are some challenges, it's really been interesting an interesting experience as well. They have some challenges because they are, most of them, this is like a first experience that they have with computer. So they find it challenging to make use of the computer and when it comes to doing something related to software development, since it's their first experience, they find it difficult. That was one of the challenges, but honestly, most of them are really interested in learning. You know, when you are teaching someone who has first experience with the computer and the software, and you discover that the person is really, really interested in what you're learning, everything such for becomes much more difficult because you see the interest rate of the person and the effort the person is putting in to understand the knowledge that you are trying to impart. But so far so well, for the staff on the very first week, we did introduction to computer science so that we can give them background knowledge on what computer is, what software development is all about, so that they would really know and understand the reason why they are here and what they are into, what they are in for. After that, we we'll move on right away to web development. We started with um, HTML so that they would have a good understanding of what HTML is, how the web works, we are still training them on how to work with CSS, how to combine CSS with HTML to make your page look appealing so that when they are designing a project or they are about to give out a product based on what they design, it will have a good UI as the user interface and you also consider the user experience. Combination of the UI and the US will give a good product, a marketable product. So we are training them for them to be able to empower themselves, to represent themselves once they live here, they should be proud of what they receive from here and appreciate the knowledge that they gain from here, what Empower have done, what the federal government have done for them. NBuild is another component of Empower. Its focus is skills acquisition and work experience opportunity. Automobile, the Kuma Aikin, the Mitchell, and then the Mitchell came out of Tomu. Mitchell Bian put in Makaranta, the Soran Yangua, the Kamikim Sidima, and then Mitchell Bia of Tomu Batu. A half of Kumashini, she, Uganda, Muse, Sama Mono, Bangari, Ajiti, Yetchi Mumada, Murakazama Tomu. So by Nyabamu, Sati Bu, the Uche, and Naya, and Tama Awaja. The Zishini Muma Mitchell Samu put the Ake Ake, you can look at Ara Hidimama at his society. Mana Samu put this society. Yeni wana gumneti na baba bwari alhamdulillah mna budiya dene abuanda yeki help na mtani yake ana samu tani yake mkuwa isamu aiki yeni zama haka bazi hapa dengeti la kazi wana haka wana mbalai wachi la daka doko kaka ba gumneti nja si boka isuma zenga tala power sabi la sela kama itakate bure yu achi community kila ensin tala power kama ensin kimiiki ita gumneti nja haki na. I'm attaching state care. We don't have to manage the media. Didn't Nigeria Allah is our command? We can't alone. I said, Didn't Nigeria make you a matter? The government is not some. So we are ready to take it. Who are you going to take it? 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 Who are you going to Beneficiaries of the four pillars of the National Social Intervention Program give positive feedback based on their participation in various components of the scheme. I'm Abdrashid Musa Ahmad. I did my three-month training in relevant technology 
and I was asked to uh, to where am I going to do my nine month apprenticeship. So I chose to be with my brother, which uh, it is uh, Jamilu's uh, garage. We call it Jamilu garage under Febuna. And I was happy to be with him because I have the interest or the zeal. Like the government encourage us on the facilities and the knowledge that I acquired there. Even when I was at school, I used to manage with one, one or two garage there where I'm schooling. I'm the one that is paying now my school fees. I am a community who send the 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 Zua Mataki Nagaba. Kuma and Zuga start to get away and was who sent a year beyond what council could the Macarenta the council. One that Al Halenda, Mumikitimo Consul, would be a musu. A Mayan Zoo sent a dear one of our bond on the Shugodashi. The other Dama, Sna Bia Consul, could the Macarenta, the Oenian Consul, the Kome the Komenasu. One of the six government KE, Mongodia or Allah, Allah, the Tata Alcadia. Mini Chadijat Abrazak, Adiumi. I want to go to Daniele for a computer. I want to go to Empower. London President Muhammad Buhari. I want to go to the Ibi Tiwanko, I want to go to the Owa Okifuwa. I want to go to Owa Okifuwa, I want to go to Owa Okifuwa, I want to go to Owa Okifuwa. Ah, in fact, inu mi duku ko lo ko lo ko gidi gidi pun eto ti baba ati awon enjoying power ti won se fu wa latari ka file ni imo eko eko engine machine oyin bo ti won pe ni computer lati file sise lori sirisi igbogbo ni to inu mi du gan lati je ara won to wa lara won lati gba idan ile ko na I am a Debo Steven Achille I'm a beneficiary under Nasara State We are quite impressed on improvement give kudos to Empire for doing the most they have done so far. With respect to accommodation, they've tried a lot. For the registration process, I think uh, the handlers have done well. They've been able to attend to almost all of us. And uh, as a matter of fact, I want to say thank you to the federal government for coming up with this kind of initiative. The world is going digital now and uh, digital marketing and web programming is taking over all, all around. And uh, with this initiative, I think uh, looking at uh, what has been done so far, we'll come out with the best and get the best out of it. We are quite prepared. Most of us, if not all of us, are prepared to get the best out of the training here and see how we can move Nigeria forward. Nigeria cannot be left behind with respect to uh, the ICT world. For many trainees, the availability of training tools and the practical hands-on aspect of workshops and training camps is an added boost. More supplies and tools arrive for the workshops and training session and the participants receive both knowledge and economic empowerment through the NTEC component of NPower. It is indicative that the N software component of N power is popular with the youths. There is no gain saying the economic value of such knowledge in this information driven 21st century. N health is a component of N power that provides social intervention in the health sector. The series of camps, workshops, trainings, and work experience opportunities for the youths in different states of Nigeria under the National Social Intervention Program, NSIP, continues to empower and pull them out of the unemployment market. My name is Musa Wakar Omar. I am from Nasara State doing animation and creative animation. I really learned a lot in this camp. Before, I don't know anything about animation, but now I can be able to animate an object, make it uh, I can be able to just show the world about a certain story using an animation. And I, and I, I think it will go a long way in helping me to carry out what I am supposed to do and I, I think I'm going to make it a career. I thank the Mr. President, Muhammadu Buhari, and the Honorable Minister, and based on her advice that I 
I will make sure that, yes, I will carry out, I will make judicious use of that laptop by making, producing stories using that animation. And I really have a dream to, I want to be a, an, a successful entrepreneur on that aspect. I started here to teach here in a nomadic primary school, uh, Mandarikian in Bokos local government plateau state. I actually introduced Peace Club in the school because it is a nomadic school now. I said, Kai, let me introduce uh, Peace Club because the country, you know, Plateau State has experienced some clashes. So I, uh, these children are here, they are hearing what, uh, what, what, uh, what is happening. So I said, let me, you know, correct some of the, this negative impression in them by teaching them how Christian and Muslim can coexist peacefully together. And so I introduced Peace Club and I said the best method for me to do is to, 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 to use songs for me to teach them peaceful songs. The National Social Intervention Program is at the core of the mission of the federal government to lift 100 million people out of poverty in Nigeria. Viewers, this is the much you can take on today's episode. I hope you have not learned and understood the mandate of the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. Don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel, catch up on all of our programs, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell to get updates, and of course, like and comment on our videos. Until we come your way next time, I am Enne Ikube. From all of us at Social Plus Africa, it's bye for now.